If a swivel chair is available, teachers may choose to demonstrate what happens when a student spins around on it. The student should hold two heavy books close to their body while the chair is spinning. Hold one book in each hand and extend arms in opposite directions. While the chair is still spinning, bring the arms close back to the body. If a swivel chair is not available, discuss how an ice skater can slow his or her rotational speed, arms out, slower, arms in, faster. Students will try to spin a pencil on a hard, smooth surface. They will try to spin the pencil by itself. They will need a circular disc about 10 centimeters in diameter that is cut from a piece of heavy cardboard or poster board. Teachers may want to do this prior to the lesson. The disc should be divided into six equal sections, each one a 60 degree angle, with the center point also being marked. The pencil will poke through the center of the disc and adjust until it is about three or four centimeters from the pointed end of the pencil. A little tape will put it in place. The student should now try to spin the pencil and note how long it spins until it falls over. Now they should add mass to the top by placing a paper clip over each line on the circle. They should try to spin the top now and note the length of time it continues to spin. Finally, place a penny under each paper clip, sliding the pennies as close to the edge as possible, having the students try to spin the pencil and note the length of time it continues to spin. They should record results in their student journal in the table and calculate the average times. They should remove a few adjacent pennies and observe how the top spins now. Have the students try to make another top using different amounts of weights and different distances. They shouldn't worry about making it better than this top. They're just showing how different variables affect a top spin.